There are some truly terrifying ski runs spread throughout North America. These runs that are so hard that even the experts should think long and hard before hitting them. From super steep slopes to dangerous couloirs, here's our list of the hardest and scariest ski runs in North America. Rambo, Crested Butte Mountain. Are you ready for a ski run that will take your breath away? Look no further than Rambo at Crested Butte in Colorado. Known as the steepest, lift-serviced, tree-cut trail in North America, Rambo is not for the faint of heart. With a max gradient of 55 degrees, this 600-foot-long run is a thrilling ride from start to finish. You'll be dropping 8 feet with every jump turn, navigating moguls and exposed rocks along the way. And once you start, there's no turning back. The rugged curves and extreme pitch will keep you at the edge of your seat. Typically, as runs get further down, they get easier, but Rambo does not let up. But for those who love a challenge, Rambo is a must-try. The run may be short, but it packs a powerful punch. Crested Butte is known for its characterful charm and extreme terrain, and Rambo is the crown jewel of its ski area. Rambo is waiting for you. Paradise, Mad River Glen. If you're looking for a challenging ski run that will test your skills, then look no further than Paradise at Mad River Glen. Known as the steepest run at this Vermont ski destination, Paradise is a thrilling maze of thick glades and rocky outcrops that will push you to your limits. The run starts with an 8-foot cliff drop, setting the tone for what's to come. You'll navigate through a twisty, steep gully lined with frozen waterfalls, huge moguls, and deep, powder-filled trenches. And with a 38-degree gradient, you'll need to be in good shape and able to make fast and tight turns. But the real challenge of Paradise lies in its dense glades and open headwalls. You'll need to be quick on your feet and aware of your surroundings to avoid getting lost in the trees. And with side gullies that contain monstrous pockets of powder, this run is not for the faint of heart. Despite being overlooked by many skiers, Mad River Glen is home to some of the most diverse and challenging terrain in Vermont. So, gear up, get ready for an adventure, and take on the challenge of paradise. It's a ski run you won't soon forget. Paranoid 4 Mammoth Mountain Mammoth Mountain, located not far from Yosemite National Park in California, is a massive ski area, and visitors are treated to lots of vertical drops. Paranoid 4 is the toughest run in the ski area. This collection of four double black diamond runs is not for the faint of heart. One of the unique things about Mammoth Mountain is the hurricane-forced winds that blow snow above the ridgeline. The snow settles on Paranoid 4, providing fresh powder for skiers and snowboarders. However, this also means that the slopes are prone to avalanches, making them incredibly dangerous. If you're brave enough to take on Paranoid 4, you'll be rewarded with stunning views and steep lines. But don't let the beautiful scenery distract you from the hazards. Visibility can be an issue during storms, and patches of stripped snow can make for treacherous skiing. But if you're up for the challenge and visit on a clear day, Paranoid 4 is a must-try for thrill-seekers. So strap on your gear and get ready for an adventure. Just remember to ski or ride safely and be aware of the dangers lurking around every turn. Pipeline Couloir Snowbird Pipeline Couloir at Snowbird in Utah is a must-try and the ultimate test of your skiing abilities. It's a narrow, nearly vertical run that starts at the summit of 11,000 feet and is only accessible by foot. In addition to this, you'll have to sign a waiver before you drop in. Once on the summit, soak in the 360-degree view and eat a snack because the big challenge is yet to come. Here, you've reached the entrance, and you'll need to charge straight down a narrow pass littered with loose rocks until it opens up. Often, you need to rappel to the entrance. And don't forget to bring your avalanche equipment, including a shovel, probe, and transceiver, as the risk of avalanches is high. The drop-in is scary, and the pipeline falls 700 vertical feet between your skis back into Snowbird. At 45 degrees, this run is only suited for experts, but it's fairly wide, allowing for big turns. Despite the challenges, Pipeline is on many skiers' bucket lists. If you're an advanced skier or snowboarder, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Tuckerman's Ravine, White Mountains Tuckerman's Ravine in New Hampshire's White Mountains National Forest should be on your list if you like extreme ski challenges. 
This backcountry ski descent has been skied since the 1930s, but it's not part of any designated ski area. You'll have to hike for 30 to 45 minutes to reach the base of the ravine and trek to the summit before you can select from a range of lines to take. Headwall is the main run with a 55 degree gradient, but be prepared to contend with several 25 foot drops. It's not for the faint of heart. The area is popular with spectators in the spring who gather around lunch rocks to watch the action unfold. But the most complex route is Dodge's Drop. This line has many no-fall zones that may kill you if you get it wrong. The terrain includes frozen waterfalls, cliffs, and rock bands, making it one of the most technical lines on the mountain. Its extreme conditions are infamous globally, and in 1934, the second highest wind speed in history at 231 miles per hour was recorded atop this very bowl. Corbett's Couloir, Jackson Hole If you're an experienced skier looking for a true challenge, then Corbett's Couloir at Jackson Hole is the run for you. Known as one of the most iconic and challenging ski runs in the world, Corbett's Couloir is not for the faint of hearts. Located right under the main tram, all eyes are on this legendary run and the brave souls who dare to take it on. To ride Corbett's Couloir, you'll need to be able to handle a massive drop at the top, ranging from 6 to 30 feet depending on the snow. You'll freefall before landing on a 50 degree slope and must immediately make a hard right hand turn to avoid hitting a large rock. The entrance to Corbett's Couloir is a narrow chute surrounded by rock walls, which only adds to the challenge. Even the most experienced skiers can find themselves intimidated by the thought of tackling this run. But the reward for those who manage to ski it successfully is a 650-foot run of super powdery snow. It's no wonder why snow sports enthusiasts flock to Corbett's Couloir to prove their skill and prowess. But make no mistake, this run is not to be taken lightly. It requires good conditions and multiple powerful, technical moves on skis or a snowboard to successfully execute. The Fingers, Squaw Valley Made famous by filmmaker Warren Miller, The Fingers at Palisades in California has become an unofficial race course for skilled and daring skiers looking to test their mettle. The Fingers are visible from the bottom of the mountain, drawing crowds of onlookers eager to witness the heart-pumping action as skiers take on the 2,000-foot vertical descent. But don't let the cheering crowd distract you from the real challenge at hand. Skiers bomb down from the top in a straight line, choosing between two lines known as Middle Knuckle and Main Air. These lines offer jumps up to 40 feet and gradients of up to 60 degrees, making for an exhilarating ride if you can pull it off. But be warned, the middle line is particularly treacherous, as snow often slides off, revealing dangerous rocks and increasing the risk of injury. And even if you choose one of the safer lines, you'll still have to contend with the high speed, wind, and icy landing. For those who dare to take on the fingers, the rewards are great. But with great rewards come great risks, and this ski run is not for the faint of heart. That's it for today's video. Comment which tough slopes you've tried, and don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future.